if I had to single out you know, a particular food category, uh, definitely top of the list in terms of a myth or even just kind of a um, misunderstanding, I think, is sugar. And, you know, I definitely think, do we have enough evidence to suggest that sugar is going to cause cancer? No, we don't have enough evidence to say that, at least at this point. Do we have, you know, enough evidence to suggest that sugar is not going to benefit one's health? Yes, I think that that would be, you know, an accurate statement. Uh, and then I think there's a lot of nuances of sugar that further confuse patients. So one, if we have a, you know, if we have within our blood, if we have a higher blood glucose, a higher blood insulin, higher blood insulin-like growth factor, there is research to suggest that that could increase the development, the promotion, the metastasis of different types of cancers, including breast, colorectal, lung, prostate, potentially more. So we do want to be cautious in terms of um, not necessarily encouraging you know, sugar consumption, but at the same time, we also want to be like, well, what is sugar? So I would say I still don't want to have patients where they are fearful to eat a blueberry or they're fearful to have a carrot because there are natural sugars within those foods. So when I'm thinking of sugar, I'm thinking more of added sugars that we want to be more cautious of. And I don't feel like, you know, there's... They, no one can have any sugar at all or added sugar, but we just want to be uh, considerate and cautious of how much uh, added sugars we're consuming in the diet.